here's what your dumbass don't understand. If my ex-wife saw me even get close to her daughter's vagina, I wouldn't have woke up the next morning. <laughs> you understand? She would have killed me that night. <laughs> There's no proof, okay, <laughs> right, of anything I'm saying about resurrection or not, right, except with the wreck and the fall, that I could have, right? Do you know what the word could have mean, right? Just like, okay, I'm in the apartment and she could have came in there or she could have not came in there. Mm -hmm. It's like the word should. And, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not a word that <laughs> you can use definitively, right? But there is a word I used in the bog definitively. I could have molested her, but didn't. See, did not is definitive, right? It makes a statement because of SVU, but what it don't say mm -hmm, or prove is how. Mm -hmm. Anything else could have happened, but that it did not happen, right? There's no description there except for the fact we're in the same apartment. Mm -hmm. And anything could happen. But didn't. Mm -hmm. Right? Because if it did, my ex-wife left my ass shredded in Tennessee. Do you think that woman would give two shits to Sunday if I woke up the next morning and she saw me with my tongue in my stepdaughter's crotch? <laughs> if she was watching me with a damn mirror or something. Anyway, that's not going to you watch it. But you know what I'm saying, right? Now, she can't do nothing if the child wandered in there and I brought her back to her. Either that's your problem, too. <laughs> her crotch would just be in my vagina, in my face, then. Because <laughs> then she would have woke me up like a normal child waking up a sleeping stepdad on the couch. <laughs> now, come on. <laughs> Even if it wasn't a stepchild. How does someone wake someone up asleep on the couch? Don't you usually go over to that person and shake them awake? Well, like I told you about the hypothetical. <laughs> anyway, if I'm facing out, because you might get some mother yourself turned in, and my face is on the edge of the couch like this, like I said, mm -hmm. what area of the child's body would be in my face? Oh, vagina. Yeah, right. <laughs> you're on the couch, you're laid down. Is that a criminal act? No. <laughs> it's all you might could say could have happened normally first, first. If I'm asleep on the couch. And I was asleep on the couch. <laughs> first thing I told you is what? My ex-wife left me stranded in Tennessee, so I took the couch. I can't tell you any more or less than that. <laughs> now, mm -hmm. so I took a test drive with the girl around the lot. Nothing weird happened that I know of, right? Now, I'm not taught to ask a girl to make out in a truck to prove you can make out in a truck. Okay, I know you can make out in a truck because I made out with Lisa in a truck. <laughs> With Myra in there. <laughs> Ain't thinking about Myra, but making that with Lisa and, uh, as well. <laughs> He's not in the back of my mind at all. <laughs> Just Lisa is. Lisa is. Not thinking of him at all, at all. Now, like I said, I dated before I joined the Navy, but there's a reason I didn't have sex yet. Babies come from sex. <laughs> Yeah, mm hmm <laughs> I don't want to know what these people are on about. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> and all me and the girl did was ride around the freaking lot. Mm-hmm. We didn't do nothing out of the ordinary, right? <laughs> Unless she asked me if I wanted to see what it was like to make out in the back seat, and I don't recall that conversation even happening, right? Ain't nothing happened. No, no, no. 
But mm -hmm. when you're dealing with paranoid assholes who are worried about being gay in the Navy, it is a skill to use the UCMJ to have anal sex, <laughs> and a pastor is teaching them to jerk off, they have a secret. <laughs> Marceline. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I don't do that shit with them. <laughs> I wouldn't join their little band of jerk offers. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> but it's all my fault because I knew better, right? Because <laughs> of what happened to Shane and Sanders, which we were told not to talk about, but I also know it's because of something wrong. <laughs> Marceline. I know not to mess with the little girl, but like I said, what am I doing? I might be getting a settlement soon. I don't know how much. <laughs> I'm looking around again to see what kind of deal you're going to offer me. Same bullshit deal. Acting like I didn't even pay the truck off because the insurance company is paying off. That's their freaking job. <laughs> And what you failed to realize is I'm going to be paying off a few loans, a few bills, and, uh, in the next couple months. And, uh, so live in your fantasy worlds, right? But trust me, they're fantasy. And your biggest fantasy is sex with children, it seems. When my ex-wife was there, was mad enough to leave me stranded in Tennessee... But I'm not going to take the couch. I'm not going to stay away from her. And I'm not going to wait until she invites me back to the living room or move back to base. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> so you who were not even fucking there want to tell me and my ex-wife her daughter woke me up in the middle of the night at all? No. Mm -hmm. You're delusional. You're sick in the head, and you got a secret you're trying to hide, like I told my mom recently. Mm -hmm. That's why I knew if I did get a woman pregnant in the Navy, her and the child would be taken care of. <laughs> See, that's concern for the girl. I mean, the woman. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a 50-year-old man calling a girlfriend a girlfriend still, but that's what I mean. <laughs> Even if the woman's 50 herself, she's a girlfriend. You call them girlfriends. <laughs> you know, bat girl was played by a woman. Though now it's bat woman, like I said. But what's the deal? <laughs> Who cares about semantics? <laughs> now, her character is kind of gayish. Okay, cool. Whatever. I don't care. But here's the point. <laughs> Gay or straight. Who you date is whose choice yours. Why don't you get that? Now, the problem is, though, you can't project your fantasy onto me without my permission. So you gotta ask someone how they feel and don't assume to know someone you don't know. That's when you mess up. Because, see, if you rely on rumors... When you face with the reality of the human being you're trying to make rumors about, you're going to find out you might have a problem suddenly. And <laughs> when he says, no, I'm not gay. <laughs> like he's telling you on YouTube, he's not gay. He's not a pedophile. He never touched a child. He would bring her back to her mom within two seconds of her being in there with it. Oh, no. Even by the bathroom. <laughs> he would know that's odd behavior. <laughs> See, like I said, there's several things that could happen there, too. And there's only one person who can witness that, and she didn't call the police that night. Yet she left my ass stranded in Tennessee. Ain't that awkward. <laughs> For her. By the way. Mm -hmm. What she thinks she can get out of it now if she let that shit happen? You see what I mean? Do you not know what entrapment is when someone's sleeping on the couch and would have to wake up with the child in there with him and not know what the hell's going on? Do you not understand what that means? <laughs> Whether story one or story two checks out or not, there's only one real witness who could have witnessed without amnesia and two of us wouldn't know what the fuck was going on. And the girl. Me and the girl. 
Now, mm -hmm. then we got, you know, someone on base at the fall. Mm -hmm. Right. That doesn't alleviate a possible attack if the injury looks worse than the three-story fall. Mm -hmm. So why is one of the doctors thinking I fell four stories? And the building's only three stories tall. Mm -hmm. I told them that too. If they attack me and it looks worse than three fucking stories, they can tell that shit to what's called forensic science. But that would be in jest trying to get them not to kill my ass or something too. If they, I found out they were part of the gay Navy. Mm -hmm. See, they would have something to hide and would use the schizophrenia and the possibility of falling from a three-story building to cover it up. Not me, not you. I would be their victim, you get it?